Today I am flying to Bonanza through the New York Class Bravo Airspace Hudson River Exclusion Special Flight Rules Area. This is a really amazing way to see the New York City skyline up close and personal. Before flying through the Hudson River Exclusion Special Flight Rules Area, there are a few things that pilots need to be aware of. First, there is the speed limit. Your airspeed must be no more than 140 knots indicated throughout the entire exclusion area. Second, you must have your anti-collision lights and nav lights on. It is also recommended that you turn on your landing lights as well. Uh, Bonanza entering southbound. We're at low wing aircraft entering southbound. There's some birds on here. No, it's probably low. It would be in the uh, tower. All right, thanks. Uh, Bonanza southbound, uh, Alpine Tower, 1100. We are flying in close proximity to other aircraft, so it is important to be well lit up. It is also required that you have a current New York terminal area chart on board the aircraft. While flying the Hudson River exclusion area, you must self-announce your position on the common traffic advisory frequency, which is 123.05. Bonanza GWB 1100 southbound. There are specific reporting points and you must include your aircraft type, current position, direction of flight, and altitude. While flying the exclusion, you must stay on the right side of the Hudson River. So, when flying southbound, you must fly along the west shoreline of the Hudson, and when northbound, you must fly along the east shoreline. Today we are flying southbound and will remain over the west shoreline. Also, there are two types of operations in the exclusion area. Transient operations and local operations. Hey, we're tracking along. We're going to be coming up at North Tip 1000 for the statue. Transient operations are defined as those aircraft transiting the Hudson River exclusion from end to end without intending to significantly change heading, altitude, or airspeed. Hudson River traffic, air coupe, low wing, fixed wing is uh, Alpine southbound at 1100. Local operations, on the other hand, refer to aircraft flying within the Hudson River exclusion that are conducting an operation other than transiting end-to-end. -end. For example, helicopter tour operators that are circling an area, or television news choppers, would be considered a local operation. Local operations can operate from the surface up to, but not including 1,000 feet above sea level. Transient operations, which is what we are doing today, must operate from 1,000 feet MSL up to, but not including 1,300 feet MSL, which is the floor of the Class Bravo airspace. Uh, at the Intrepid, uh, southbound at 1100. There's also another way to transition through the area between 1300 feet and 2000 feet MSL, and that is called the Skyline Route. However, since the Skyline Route is in the Class Bravo airspace, it does require a Class Bravo clearance prior to entering. Today we are flying the exclusion at 1100 feet, so we will not need the Class Bravo clearance while in the Special Flight Rules area.
Southbound 1200. The mandatory reporting points while in the exclusion area from north to south are the Alpine Tower on the west shore, the GWB or George Washington Bridge, the Intrepid which is a retired aircraft carrier on the east shore, the clock, which is on the west shoreline next to the Goldman Sachs Tower, the Statue of Liberty, and finally, the VZ, or Verrazano Bridge. Today we will not be going as far south as the Verrazano Bridge. Our plan is to contact the Newark Tower after passing the Statue of Liberty and get a Class Bravo clearance which will allow us to turn westbound towards Allentown, Pennsylvania, which is our final destination. Bonanza at the Statue of Liberty, 1100 southbound. Paul, if you're right there, uh, looks like a King Air, 2,000 feet, about three south of Arizona northbound. Looks like he'll be cutting in front of you. Uh, three mic X-ray, got him inside. We'll maintain visa separation. Yeah, that's approved. Block. United 1730, line for weight runway four left. Four left, line for weight. United 1730. Uh, somebody checking on. Bonanza 62, Bravo Sierra. 62 Bravo Sierra North. We're just south of the statue. Like to cross over Newark on our way to Allentown. 62 Bravo Sierra Squawk 0312 altimeter Newark 3033. Five five landing assert. Five five radar service terminated. Yeah. 62 Bravo Sierra radar contact 1200. Uh, start a right turn direct to Newark. Pass over the four numbers at uh, 1500 altimeter 3033. Clear and Bravo. Okay, clear it into the Bravo, cross the fours at 1500, two Bravos here. At 1936, contact departure. Good, 1936. Hi, Tower 10 here, 6 x 5 I was with you descending uh, to 1500. We'd like to fly file to grab us here. Your request. Free mic x-ray, that 182 is out in front of you there, about uh, 1 o'clock and a uh, mile northbound 1500. He's been making orbits out there. Okay, three mic x-ray. Uh, we got, uh, yeah, we don't have him yet. Three mic x-ray. Julie Kilo contact LaGuardia Tower on uh, 118.7. Actually, what else did you add, sir? 
800 feet right now for 500 kilo. All right, you're outside the Bravo airspace, and you got traffic 12 o'clock and two miles south, about 1,100. Are you planning on staying down in the exclusionary airspace? I'll climb up if you need me to. Don't climb yet. Look for traffic 12 o'clock, two miles, 1,100 southbound. Uh, and I got traffic inside, 500 kilo. Let me do the visual, 1,500 feet, please. 1,500, 500 kilo. Tower, second three, six zero five, I lost four right. Second country, six zero five, door tower, runway four right, clear land, winds calm. Clear land, second three, six zero five. Key meter 5018, contact departure. Departure to 5018. American 2919, runway four left, clear for takeoff. Four left, clear for takeoff, American 2919. Picture 3506, door tower, runway four left, line of way. Line of way, four left, picture 3506, go ahead. Two Bravo Sierra, contact, near approach 12855. 2855, good day, two Bravo Sierra.